Um, you know, it was, I, I hated the end of the half and the start of the second half, and our team is far too veteran to, uh, to, to let that swing happen. We, we could have just slammed the door on that game, and um, we let opportunity after opportunity slip. We started not paying attention to the scout, and it was a really scary time. And then I thought Jessica Thomas just woke up and sort of changed her demeanor. And then, um, you know, an unfortunate technical, which she will never do again, uh, but it actually saved me a timeout because I could bring the team over. And I was, I said, I'm not to say, we just talked five, ten minutes at halftime, what we want to say, we just, we're too veteran for that. Other than those about six or seven minutes, we were really a smart basketball team today, and we gave a ton of extra effort on loose balls, 50-50 balls, um, huge offensive rebounds, very timely. But if you really knew our system and the new, the why we were running certain plays, like Laura got hot, and we ran three or four different looks, and she got wide open every time the team got her the ball, but it wasn't the same play. But they understood, well, Laura's hot. Uh, they knew why we were calling that. And, you know, so we were mixing things up and uh, really a very, very high level execution game. Laura was uh, fantastic. And then Motley uh, sat her down, really, just frankly sat her down. And then when she comes back in, um, she lit up again, too. So that was huge. And then Key was out um, a little bit and she came back in and we went inside the Key. So it was a lot of this is what the shot we need, this is how you're gonna get it, and you have to go execute it, and they did all three of those things. They understood the why, and the who, and the when. So it was great. Just great, great job by my guards, I think, of controlling that game. Questions? Um, I took a question for Laura. When did you realize you were uh, getting ready to have one of those magical games? Um, I mean, I was hitting in warm-ups, but you know, you never know before a game if you're gonna hit or not, but it's just, I think, as Coach said, we just did some. Uh, we did a great job on the execution, and my teammates did a great job in finding me. And I just hit some shots. Did, did, did Coach do anything different to get you open for those looks? Because it seemed uh, like the defender was really trying to catch up to you. Yeah, we ran a couple of plays, but we had a couple of different looks, and it's good because we're all like we can all shoot the ball. So it's not just me they have to pay attention to. Like Mark can shoot the ball. Key was hitting as well. So we're just really hard to defend if we're hitting. Laura, what's your travel week been like? I mean, coming back, <laughs> how's that been kind of for you? Um, it's it's been pretty intense, I gotta tell you, but um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm just really, um, you know, the opportunity they gave to us to you know fly back home and play two games for the national team is just it's just awesome and great and very grateful for that. And just to come back and you know play straight away, it's 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 tough, but it's. It's also like fun. I mean, I don't have to practice a lot. I'm just playing games, so you know, <laughs> uh, it's 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 great. It's 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 great. You're not leaving uh, again, are you? <laughs> no, I'm oh, not okay. leaving again. Good, good. How long were you over there? Uh, for a week. For a week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you had a double double today. Um, what was that like? Uh, what was that like? Uh, what was that like? Uh, what was that like? Um, I mean, we practice this all the time. I mean, I just go out there and play hard, and then when you come out, you take a break. You got to play hard every time you're out there. Uh, Coach. Yes. Good to see you again. Thank you. Wow. Um, the last couple of times you played uh, the late Raiders, you uh, have lost to them. Um, the most recent one, I think, was the fourth. It was a pretty big loss. So what did you, or do you take any of that into account uh, coming into this game? and? Did you go back over any old film? Or? Oh, gosh, no, no. But, um, you know, a storied program, and they're doing a heck of a job. And I have a ton of respect for how – and that's what I told Candy after the game. I said, I, I love how you run your program. She's worked in a very, very difficult scout. You know, a lot of good sets um, for her scores and a lot of action, a lot of motion. We, you know, that was very hard to go over all their stuff in one day. It was very, very hard. And we opted not to shoot around this morning, but we spent some significant time in film preparing for them. And you could tell the minute that that's third quarter when we did not follow the scout and the game plan, they got they caught fire. So you really have to disrupt them, and you got to stay focused for 40 minutes. So she's doing a heck of a job. Okay, fantastic. Katie, what changed for that? You guys had the 12-1 run yeah. in the second half. What, did you, what, what had kind of happened in that, in that stretch for you guys to kind of, kind of take more time? Well, you know, it, we, we went back to playing the defense we had prepared for the game. We changed one little aspect of the defense that we were saving. Um, we wanted to save it a little bit later. But we just really woke up and went back to what had gotten us to lead in the first place. And we just we shrunk down to average for about six minutes. We just shrunk to average, and then we expanded back out to great. And I thought when we expanded back out and woke up, um, you know, but they, they did hit some tough shots, and they can. They can hit off balance shots. They can hit spins. I mean, they really, one-on-one, -on -one are very difficult guards, um, very difficult to guard. 
And, um, you know, we wanted Terry to get in foul trouble, and Key, Key had a huge execution on play for that. So we started just doing the things that we had prepped. Um, they're probably glad that we only had one day because it would have been a hard – I mean, <laughs> there was a lot we had to just ignore and say, well, they're not going to get that in a day. But they did a great job. I noticed in the third you uh, – or I'm sorry, in the second quarter you began, like, uh, putting pressure high. Yeah. Um, was that something that you just – and your hip pocket or? We have a lineup that we really like that I think really gets after people mm -hmm. um, and speeds us up. So our starters sort of take care of business when we get into our bench a little bit. There's a there's a significant lineup there that is a high energy, high pressure lineup. And I thought that they they might not, you know, they're plus minus that lineup. And I keep all the lineups. I know who's plus minus. That lineup doesn't necessarily score a ton for us. But when we bring when we follow that lineup up, the other team's pretty exhausted and we come in and start really being clean. Um, and that's the depth of our team. We had to get to our bench today and I thought, you know, with, with Laura, 22 off the bench, but the bench, they didn't score a ton, but like Shanice Bailey had four rebounds off the bench in 12 minutes. That kid's hard to box out. And that just breaks your back when you're, you, get, you think you got to stop and she gets in there and gets all that huge offensive rebound. Key had six. Erica's hitting the glass. So our depth really helped us.